so we are ba 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 it's the new Canadian music video releases. It's your boy Friday Ricky Dread, AKA Media Rick, and we're back with a list of hot new music videos. Now, before we start this video here, I need you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that subscription button below, as well as the notification next to it, as well as make sure to share this video to a friend and make sure to like, smash that like button, all right? So that we can make sure that the We Love Hip Hop channel is one of the most prominent channels in the world, all right? We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers and when we hit 10,000 subscribers we're going to be giving away a gift bag worth more than $500 all right so make sure to subscribe now this video here is going to be a list of all the new tunes all the new music videos that have dropped over the last week maybe about seven days all right all over 500 views and we need you the people to get into our comment section below, comment gang scrum, and let us know who your favorites are. And from there, we're gonna be able to tabulate to figure out who is gonna be, who are gonna be the top six videos in Canada this week, all right? Now, the beat that you're hearing in the background right now, that's courtesy of East End Clips, all right? So make sure to hit him up on Instagram, at East End Clips. And this is gonna be one of the beats that we are going to be adding to the Respect the Process Rap Challenge. So make sure to join the Respect the Process Rap Challenge that's going on right now. We got two, we got, we'll put up one rapper against another up on our Instagram pages. All right, we need you, the people, to decide who you think had the hottest bars, and then from there, they'll be able to go on to the next round. The finalists will have an interview on the We Love Hip Hop podcast and more. All right, so send us a one minute video of you spitting your hottest bars and you are in the Respect the Process Challenge. All right, hashtag Respect the Process. Make sure to send your submissions to We Love Hip Hop Toronto at gmail.com. Again, that's We Love Hip Hop Toronto at gmail.com, or send us a DM on our, on our, on our social media platforms, on our Instagrams. Same. And oh yeah, at the end of this video right here, we're gonna be giving you our industry tips. And this week, we're gonna be talking about how to do a good live stage show, okay? We're gonna give you, give you some tips on what you need to do, how you need to prepare, and how you, how you could pull off a really tight live stage show. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the end of this video right here so you can get some of that industry knowledge. So no more long talking, let's get to these music videos new music video releases let's go and i get some cutty frame he just walk to the back of the trap and get in the game he just shoot this one in air and he put in his shame this is my people, my breath is fresher Pretty boy, top dresser Wanna test me, dog? that's not clever Cut him in half like a Walmart rollback Hold that moi, Je sais pas moi Yeah, 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 je sais pas moi Can you filter it? But if you can't roll, just keep it 100 like Wilton shit But fuck, roll it Pour me a drink, but don't smoke to your face, yo I'm like, yeah, you keep it close Everywhere they see us, they know We come out, you need my anymore we see him, we like a rose, man. She could for me like four, man. Gotta get to this, to this money like so damn. Yo, we count the whole band. You know, we count the whole band. Yeah, and that talking, cause I gotta get it. Up in the chat and bro, show me how to whip it. Up in the chat, I ain't doing no dishes. That's my I'm off to go to the dentist. Damn, yeah, my lawyer, I'm trying to descend it. I got the Grim Reaper with me, he gon' grave dig. I be trippin', get high, try to escape it Know how I've been through couple situations now I ain't never quit, no, I ain't never switch, no God got me in the right club oh. I ain't, I'm getting these numbers, running it back, I ain't never gon' fumble And I stay out the way, niggas be hating, they plot every day Just like a board, I'ma stay on the wave Feelin' that step on, she tell me she love me Put me in the fire, you know what you did Shit, can't walk with a stick, ain't got weight the fuck? Bitch, you know I'm bacon First time to grab touch in Vegas uh, Woman on me, so outrageous Sick like a flu and contagious Game my number to the wager If a nigga tryna violate Who told him that he was brave Making dollars and I show a yellow Bobby in my chain Nobody could ever say Did a must cause I done had enough And I had enough uh. Niggas tall ain't moving, but they still can't leech off me You out of luck He's know this shit Any nigga in the game that know how real it gets Niggas come around for all the benefits But I'd rather stay alone and move militant And you know the way I ball could go to NBA But I'ma act different No, 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 no I don't really talk about the shit I did in my past All my niggas Honest when my suit was being steady My mom said you gon' be just like your daddy And my little nigga you be sleeping in the casket Like 
nigga wrong Broski cut his sentence And then stand Come and act He's a celebrity He got melodies But he's still posted with the boys That got felonies Damn, that's a Shirex run another one Alright, so let's get to our music industry tips And this week, as promised I'm gonna give you some industry tips on how to put together a tight live stage show. Now, over the weekend, the whole We Love Hip Hop team has been to a few live showcases. You know, we were backstage, behind the scenes at the we at the Flip the Nero, J Crit show. We got to see a lot of dope opening acts. Big up to Supreme Swiss, as well as a lot of other dope opening acts that we got to see that night. And we got to go to a showcase on Sunday night for the Six Mic Showcase, where there was a lot of dope ladies doing their thing on stage. It was an all ladies showcase. So big up to Six Mics, big up to Nanu, big up to Nana Goody, big up to Jelly Two Fly, Rax, Tara Lords, as well as Lola Buns, all putting on great, great stage shows. And, you know, it came to mind, you know, I wanna give some industry tips this week on how to put together a tight, tight stage show, especially for the up and coming artists out here who are getting out there, who are doing live shows, trying to get people um, interacted with what they're doing. Uh, I'm gonna give you some tips from my past experience from being a manager, for people preparing them for their shows, as well as an artist myself doing multiple stage shows, over 200 stage shows in my lifetime, um, on some tips on getting a tight stage show together. So first here I got is, make sure to get the right playlist of songs together for your expected audience, all right? So what I mean by that is, when you have an audience, um, when you got your show set up, you got your show booked, you gotta know what kind of audience you're gonna be expecting. Is it gonna be a yuppie crowd? Is it gonna be a, a really thugged out crowd? Whatever that crowd is, whatever the demographics that you're expecting for that crowd, you know, you can you know, pretty much judge that from what areas you might be doing the show in, you know, what clubs you might be doing it in. Judge that and then pick the right songs that will coincide with that crowd. Just pick the right songs that that, that crowd will like. If it's gonna be a more of a club setting, then pick your more clubby shit. You know what I'm saying? If it's gonna be more of a lounge setting, then you might wanna pick some stuff that is a little bit more chill, all right? But whatever that is, you're gonna to wanna to pick the right playlist for that night. Not just any playlist, not just the same playlist that you use for every crowd. Use the right songs for the right crowds, okay? Now, practice and memorize all your songs, okay? The song that you're gonna be doing for that night you need to rehearse, you need to practice, you need to memorize as much as possible. And I mean really, really do it, okay? Like, know all your lyrics back to front, okay? There's many different ways of doing that. You can be playing the songs that you're gonna be performing over and over and over and over again. Whether you're playing it in your headphones so you're not annoying maybe people around you um, hearing the same songs over and over again, you gotta do what you gotta do so that you can memorize all of your lyrics, okay? Um, recite them without, the, um, without the, um, the song, without the lyrics playing in the background so that you can see that you can get them right and make sure that you get them right all, every single time so that when you hit the stage, you'll have those lyrics memorized from back to front. So if the beat skips, not a problem. You got that memorized, you could jump right back in, all right? But make sure to memorize your lyrics. Now, prepare a TV track of your song. Okay, now to be specific, what a TV track is, is the beat with some ad libs in the back and the hook only. Not your full song with the verses, right, where you can hear your lyrics playing and you're just rapping on top of your lyrics um, or, you know, singing on top of your lyrics. I mean, the beat with just some, some ad libs that might jump in, you know, to help uh, emphasize what you're saying and the hook so that when you're doing the hook, you get a little bit of time to rest. You know, you can sing along with the hook a little bit, but you don't have to put your full voice into it. And then when it gets back to your parts where your verses are, I don't want to hear your song. I don't want to hear your lyrics running over the top. Okay. I want to be able to hear you clearly through the mic to see if you can perform the lyrics as good as you did it in the studio. Okay. Um, no offense to a lot of the artists I see coming up, but I see a lot of people rapping over the whole song. And in the end of the day, when you've got real record companies that pop into the, to the scene and they're looking for, for up and coming artists, they look at stage shows. And in my honest opinion, that shit don't make it. All right. Memorize your lyrics, rap over the part, um, rap over your verses, not over your song. Okay. Um, make sure that you have you're set on different um, forms, um, on different formats, okay? 
So make sure you have it on a USB key. Make sure you email it over to the DJ earlier or the promoter earlier. Make sure you have it on your phone as well. Also, if you have people with you, make sure that somebody else in your entourage also has the set on their phone as well. So that if you have any problems in the night, you know, when stage time comes, if they don't have your music, boom, back out the USB out of your pocket, say, okay, just pop this USB in. I got the songs on here, let's go, okay? But they will, you'll have little to no delay in between anything if there is any problem with having your music on the stage when it's time for you to perform, okay? So make sure to have your set on multiple formats, okay? Get to know the sound man, all right? Very, very important tip, and you're gonna wanna listen to this, all right? All you artists coming up, um, you know, who are getting a lot of notoriety especially and you start feeling yourself, don't feel yourself too much that you don't get to know the sound man. Get to know him by name, because in the end of the day, the sound man is gonna be the most important person in that place, bigger than the promoter when it comes to getting on stage. Okay, he's the person who's handling your sound. He's the person who's making sure you have the right amount of reverb on your mics. He's the person who's making sure you're turned up, you're not getting too much feedback or any feedback at all, okay? Respect the sound man. Treat him like a human being. Treat him or her like a human being, okay? Don't be just, you know, get to per knowing the person's name because when you're on stage, if you start having some problems and you're like, yo, sound man, yo, sound man, guess who's not gonna help you, all right? So make sure to get to know the sound man um, and, 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 you know, respect them. Respect the sound man as well as everybody else in the venue, okay? Um, in the end of the day, my last tip that I have for you here is, you know, it's the common thing. Interact with the crowd. You know, over time, you're gonna learn how to use the microphone better, you know, not cupping the microphone, little simple things like that. You know, create a chant that you can run um, throughout your set so that people start remembering you a little bit more and people start remembering the chant from song to song. But that also creates an interactive way of you, of, of you interacting with the audience. You know, if you're a little bit of an introvert and you can't, you know, talk in between songs, you can fall back on your chant and make people say that chant. And it also is a good way to gauge if the audience is still in there with you song after song. All right. And at the end of the day, just make sure to have fun when you're up there. I know it could be really nerve wracking from experience. I'm telling you this. I know it could be nerve wracking to get on stage and present yourself in front of a whole bunch of people. However, the, in the end of the day, you've made this music so that everybody can hear it. So just have fun while you're performing it. If people see that you're feeling your songs, they will in turn feel your songs with you, all right? So that's all I got for industry tips this week. Hopefully they'll help, hopefully they're helpful, all right? Let me know in the comments below what you think, if you need any more industry tips, what type of industry tips that you would like to hear in the future, okay? And let me know um, if you have any more to add on to what I brought today as far as how to prepare for a stage show, okay? Also, let me know in the comments below who are your favorites for the tracks that we played in the montage earlier? Let us know who your favorite video is, who your favorite artist is in that list, in this, week, in this, list, in this week's list, okay? Let us know in the comments below and then we'll be able to tabulate who are the top six videos for Canada this week, all right? Make sure to follow me all across the board on all social media platforms. That's Friday Ricky Dread, that's the R-E-D. Make sure to hit up our website, that's the hub for all, all interviews, you know, get our merchandise, news stories, everything on a regular basis. That's welovehiphop.ca. And make sure to follow us on Instagram, We Love Hip Hop Network. It's your boy Friday Ricky Dread, aka Media Rick. And I'm out.